The next question that we had was, why does it take so long to get to Mars? And uh, Dr. Gentimus, can you just elaborate on that one? I mean, the answer is very, very simple, right? The, the distance from Earth to Mars is 55 million kilometers. That's quite far. I mean, imagine driving with your car 70 miles per hour. It would take you at about uh, 29,000 days to reach Mars. And we're talking about the closest distance, right? So I have here um, 3D printed versions of the Earth and Mars, right? So at their closest stage, 55 million. But remember, these two things rotate around the sun, all right? Actually, they should be rotating this way. And so at their furthest, they could be all the way to 400 million kilometers, right? And on an average, the distance as they travel through, through space is at about 200 million kilometers. So it's quite far. Even a big spaceship like Hermes, it would take it a long, long time to get from here to there. And that is if it was going in a straight line. But here's the idea. It's not going in a straight line, right? Because all of them are moving at the same time. So Christine, can you help me here a little bit? Okay, so we have Earth and Mars. Christine is going to demonstrate now. They're moving around with the sun. Let's suppose that the sun is sitting over there and they're moving around the sun. So if you wanted to go from one of them to the other, you're not going to go, for instance, you're not going to go here in a straight line because as you're moving along, these guys are moving also with you. So if you were pointing at Mars when it is at the moment that you tracked that you left, you're not going to find it there. It's going to have moved away. So what they do is they create specific orbits, Alzheimer orbits they're called, that go around and they meet the object where it is going to be when you reach it. Um, the idea behind the Hermes is it's never going to lift off the Earth. But what is it going to do? Is it going to be rotating a little bit around the Earth, then travel to Mars, rotate around Mars, and then come back? Okay? So, by the way, this is um, somewhat an elaborate differential equation system. Um, you could theoretically solve it, but if you've seen the movie, uh, the guy that comes up with the uh, beautiful um, um, orbit had to actually use a supercomputer. Um, and feed all the data in there and just do the numerical approximation because we have a three-body problem, there are other elements floating around here, and somehow we need to figure out how to go from here to there, everything's rotating, everything's moving. That's why it takes like so long to go from one place to the other. Now, I wanted to mention something else as well. Um, they say in the movie that they perform the Parnell maneuver. That's basically uh, when you are trying to use the Earth's gravity to slingshot around and come back the other way. So they weren't really trying to turn the vehicle around and go backwards. No, they were trying to use this thing to slingshot around and try to meet it at the orbit where Mars would be after so many months or so many years, whatever it was. Okay? And the interesting thing about this, the technology exists. I mean, the iron drives, the ones that are used by the Hermes, exist on a small scale, of course, right? So the idea is you have uh, gas being sucked in and turned into ionized and spit out. Um, the acceleration is very, very small. It's something like two meters per second per second. But imagine this traveling from one to the other, almost constantly accelerating. There is no need also for it to lift off the one planet and go to the other one. Uh, that is achieved by they passed by and they have the map, as they said in the movie, that will go from the Mars into the spaceship. This one grabs it and goes back. And then when you reach there, you go back from the Hermes down to the Earth and vice versa. Remember that they used that rocket, that Chinese rocket, eventually they used it to resupply the Hermes. This one never stopped, it just went around the Earth and flew and found the other orbit.